Hey everybody, it's March 7th, 2017, and this is daily vlog number 311, and I have six news stories to talk to you about today, so let's just get to it. Uh, first one here is mom arrested after streaming 10-year-old son driving. This woman, she put her 10-year-old son behind the wheel, and I guess she thought it'd be cute to live stream her son driving around town uh, on uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, but uh, some people saw the stream and turned her in, and she got arrested, and she has to go to court next month to um, face charges. Uh, so it wasn't very smart. I guess she, like I said, just thought it was cute or something. Uh, some people, they're not dealing with a full deck, I guess. But um, we'll keep watching that and see how it turns out. Next one uh, is Ford is starting with 3D printing car parts, uh, which means more customized vehicles. Now, first time I ever heard about a 3D printer was a news article that Jay Leno had bought a 3D printer to print uh, parts for his vintage automobiles that he was having a hard time finding parts for. And I had never heard of a 3D printer before, but... Today, they're more and more prevalent in the world, and there's even industrial printers that can print metal parts now, so it's getting to where um, just about anything can be printed from synthetic wood to metal to plastics. Even food, they used a, uh, were experimenting with a 3D printer to print uh, food for astronauts in space, so... Hopefully, um, that will continue and w with uh, 3D printers getting uh, more popular. So uh, we can all have something from the replicator? That's right. We can have something from the replicator. But uh, hopefully, they'll get popular and the prices will go down. Uh, right now, it's uh, pretty expensive to own a uh, printer and even a print. But... Uh, just like with uh, calculators and computers and other electronics, the price will go down and before long you might see a 3D printer in every home. How about that? Um, next story here is uh, Oklahoma State Bill would let property owners shoot down drones. Now, <clears throat> the federal law says you can't shoot down an aircraft, but there have been instances of homeowners shooting down drones that have flied over their property. There was uh, one case where a man shot down a drone that was flying back and forth over his property when his daughter was in the backyard sunbathing. Initially, he had been arrested, but then he was right, later released. And, you know, I can see how <laughs> he might want to shoot down a drone especially if it's making multiple passes over your home and spying on you um, but you know, there whenever you fire a firearm you're, you're making a chance that somebody's going to get hit other than your intended target so you got to be mindful of that as well uh, now like i said it's a against federal law to shoot down an aircraft. So if this bill did pass in Oklahoma, uh, they'd still be breaking the federal law even if they did shoot down a, uh, a drone over their property. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out because uh, drones are a uh, new thing and the laws haven't really kept up with uh, flying drones across people's property. So we'll keep watching on that and see what happens. Uh, next uh, article here, poachers break into French Zoo to kill a five-year-old rhinoceros for its tusks. Or its horns. Now that's crazy. Man, rhinoceros, they, they're, if they're not already endangered, they're going to be endangered because people keep doing this and they they don't even think about what they're doing and uh, it's just not a good idea I hope they catch these guys uh, that did this because you know 
<clears throat> one thing to go out in the wild and, and find one and and do that which isn't right but to actually break into a zoo and, and kill a caged animal like that not very good <clears throat> and then the next story here North Korea warns US not to provoke actual war as you may know the uh, North Koreans have been doing missile tests and uh, at a UN uh, meeting the uh, North uh, Korean diplomat had stated this now uh, US has been watching these missile tests uh, closely and I don't know how it's going to play out. I think the really the North Koreans are trying to provoke us into something, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens with that. And then uh, next story here is from WikiLeaks: CIA can hack into phones, TVs, everything. Well, gee, you didn't realize that. Uh, anything with a computer chip or transmits a signal or receives a signal, you can pretty much hack into it. Your phone, you're broadcasting a signal every time you use it. Every time you get a text, it's getting a signal. Every time you get a uh, multimedia message, you're getting a signal. And anytime you use Wi-Fi, you're sending and receiving a signal. And that can be hacked into cell phone you're broadcasting all the time whether you're making a call taking a call or not if your cell phone's on it's uh, transmitting a signal and that can be hacked into uh, computers can be hacked into your car can be hacked into nowadays cars are just full of all computer components and they're transmitting information whether you know it or not so you know um, just be aware, just because you're sitting at home in front of your TV set and uh, talking to the family doesn't mean that somebody else is not talking to you or listening to your conversation. Listening. Yes, your TV's it listening to you. Feels like somebody's watching me. Yeah, your TV might be, uh, be more attentive than your kids are, actually. Listening to your every word. But, you know, it's like I've said before, I don't care if somebody's listening to me. I have my computer on. I don't cover up my uh, <clears throat> camera. Uh, if they want to watch me, hey, go to it. As long as they don't use my image to try and make money with or infringe on my rights, I don't care. I, I mean, you I mean... rights? Yes, I have rights. I'm a U.S. citizen. I have rights for the time being anyway, but that could change, you know, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you know, I put out these vlogs, I'm on the uh, internet, I'm not hard to find, and, and my opinion's not hard to find either. But uh, anyway, everybody, as uh, usual, these articles will be on my G Plus page, so if you want to take a look at that, the link's down in the description. And if you have any uh, comments about uh, any of the subjects that I've talked about today, put them down in the comment section, and maybe we can get a uh, talk started there. And um, I hope everybody's had a good day today on uh, this Tuesday. And uh, hopefully you didn't have to work too hard. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link's down below. And also, tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos, and also check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image to the left, and it'll take you right to it. And also, please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. The link's up at the top. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.